Hi everybody. Um, so it's been fun reading your marriage advice. Um, so it's going to be me in the video and honestly I'm really really sleepy. It's been quite a week trying to tie up all the loose ends especially because technically I had to plan two weddings. <laughs> I mean that's the worst thing in the world. I can't complain about that but it's just it's been very hectic and a lot of um, plans falling through and making new plans. So, um, but now it's all, you know, fine and dandy and I'm really excited about our new plans and you'll all be able to see it online. Okay, so I'm going to go in order. I'm probably not going to read them all because I got a lot. Um, so my niece Angel was the first one to send anything. Thank you. She was also sweet enough to host a little video chat the other day, which I loved getting to see all the women in my family. Okay, so she says, talk about everything, transparency and open communication, even about whatever theory or project yours or his will build your bond. Okay, that's a good one. Um, fighting isn't always bad. Um, it's talking about whatever you are feeling, no matter how uncomfortable. I definitely agree with that one. Um, I feel like it's so important to, you know, <laughs> bicker, honestly, because, you know, everyone in the relationship needs to be heard. And sometimes that's not easy, but you have to deal with it anyway. Um, never stop dating each other. I love that one because I love dates <laughs> and we do plan a lot of date nights and stuff. Um, I mean, it's just us and the cats, so it's pretty easy <laughs> um, whenever we feel up to it and work doesn't get in the way. Um, I got laugh a lot. Definitely do that. I laugh a whole lot. <laughs> um, and don't worry about works for other couples. You know, that one has been already so important to us because we've been together five years and we're kind of unconventional in a lot of ways. Um, and so comparing ourselves to other couples would be silly because our relationship is so different. I mean, we, I moved like halfway across the world to be with him. Um, we moved to Colorado together, you know, um, I work up in Wyoming, he goes to school down here. Like our relationship is definitely not conventional because we don't even know which state we're gonna, you know, end up in full time yet until he's done with school. And that's gonna be quite a while from now. So it's definitely, I like that. I like the unknown. It's exciting, it's fun, and I don't mind it. It's wonderful. Um, but yeah, we definitely, that's a really good one is not worrying about what other couples are doing. Cause if I did that, I would go crazy because we're rather unique. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got here. My mommy, <laughs> she says, keep it honest and always have each other's backs. Find ways to keep the fire burning. Take the time to let your spouse know you love them. Oh, leave little love notes randomly in random places. I forgot about that growing up. Like, my mom or dad would leave notes for one another and even if it was just like telling them like you know what was done or what needs to be done in the house before they left for work or whatever I can see that being a really sweet thing it's like you're you're taking the time to sit there and write a little note to your significant other I love that <laughs> um but yeah we definitely we're the type that keep it brutally honest <laughs> I say exactly what's on my mind and he does the exact same thing and it doesn't matter, you know, and I, I think that's wonderful because, you know, there's plenty of people who are, you know, kind of stuck in relationships where they can't be true to themselves. And I feel like it's so important that both people are true to themselves, even if, you know, I mean, no two people are ever going to feel the same way about everything. That would be weird. <laughs> so it's important. I, I can definitely see that. Mommy, I love you. <laughs> okay. Who else here? Uh, okay. Timmy's wife. Let's see. Uh, Nicole says, always communicate, be open and honest with one another at all times. Don't hold back. Don't keep anything in. If something is wrong, talk. If something is right, talk. You know what? Again, like I feel like most people put communication and I definitely see that because I mean, most of the time when I see relationships fail, oftentimes it is a communication problem because someone wasn't saying something that they needed to say for one reason or another, but I don't know. I'm very open. <laughs> Sometimes too open. <laughs> okay. 
um, my second mommy, <laughs> Sue Matula. I miss you. Um, you will always be family to me. Your entire family will always be family to me. Um, let's see what you said. Always keep the lines of communication open. Again, every, everyone thinks that's, I mean, that's a really big one. <laughs> Take time for yourselves to catch up. Date nights, weekends away, movie nights, long walks. You know, we go on a lot of long walks together. Um, pretty much most nights, except for like, if I'm not feeling that well, I'll ask him if he wants to go on a long walk with me. Um, and you know, we talk pretty much the whole entire time, which is really nice. <laughs> um, Sometimes you have to compromise and may even have to admit the other was right. <laughs> That's hard, but yeah, you're definitely right. <laughs> it can be hard to admit that you're wrong sometimes, but um, it gets easier, I feel like, as I'm getting older to admit when he's right. And it's also the best thing because when I admit that he's right, you know, it, it cleared everything up and I'm like, okay, whew, you know, that's over with. <laughs> Um, keep smiling, and in your case, keep giggling. Will do, I promise. <laughs> and yes, um, it says, can't wait to see pictures and tune in if you're still doing the wedding online. So yes, we will be um, posting the photographer's photos as soon as we have those, and we are still doing the wedding online. Um, I don't know what the situation will be as far as uploading it. Our ceremony is at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, either the... See, now I don't even remember. <laughs> it's 11 or 11.30 Mountain Time. <laughs> Whatever we want, really. <laughs> At some point, we're getting married in the morning of the September 4th. And I think we're probably going to upload that sometime in the afternoon. Um, I'll probably post something on Facebook, so keep an eye out. Um, and then um, I'll probably also post a video of the cake cutting. Or I might also post maybe the night before something else. I don't know. Just to keep it fun. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? My sister Marie sent a video, which I thought was very sweet. <laughs> She's in Vegas right now, which is awesome. I love Vegas. <laughs> um, okay, open, honest communication again. <laughs> Unafraid to speak freely, even if hard. Yep. Um, and she said to speak to be heard and listen to understand. I thought that was a really good one. And oh, this is, I love this one is, um, she said that you have to remember when, you know, whatever you're fighting or whatever, that the intent is never to hurt. Um, it's never to hurt you. So like if we were fighting, I have to remember that everything he's saying, it's not intended to hurt me and vice versa. I really like that. Um, and do things fun together. I love having fun with him. We have so many things that we love to do together, so that that's easy. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um, my future sister-in-law says communication is key. Talk to each other about your wants and needs. Compromise with each other. Don't compare your spouse relationship with others. Laugh laugh often with each other and make time for date nights even if it's just at home doing a puzzle or something okay <laughs> yeah it's so funny because I feel like a lot of people are saying a lot of the same things so it seems to be like you know pretty a pretty simple formula to figure out you know you just find someone that you vibe with and then you know you stick to you know good communication laughing um compromising not comparing to others and then you'll be happy campers <laughs> um and then her husband says, always tell the truth, even if it isn't the best to hear. The bitterest truth is better than the sweetest lie. We're so good at that. <laughs> We're so honest with one another. And I love that. Like, I would a million times over rather hear something that might hurt me than hear something that's fake <laughs> to make me happy. Because, I don't know. That, I, I don't know. I'd rather hear the truth. Um, and my future mom-in-law, <laughs> never go to bed angry. Um, I'm trying to think, do we ever go to bed angry? I don't think so. We have such weird schedules. <laughs> I know that sounds weird to bring up, but it's true because he's practically nocturnal. So I don't know if that's even possible for us to go to bed angry together because we go to sleep at different times. And <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but anyway, it says, always say I love you. Oh, we do that a lot. <laughs> I'm constantly telling him and my Katie's that I love them. <laughs> and never argue in front of people. That's something that's hard for me, and it's also hard for him, I think, because 
we definitely do we're so honest with one another like it's like whenever I'm thinking something I will just tell him and it doesn't really matter if there's an audience but I can see how that can be a bad thing I mean first of all people don't want to have to listen to you bicker as a husband and wife or you know significant others so I guess that's something we could both work on <laughs> um so my kitty Nani is here Nani you want to say hi to everybody say hi oh yeah say hi Okay, there she goes. Okay, anyway, um, so I think I have a few others on my phone, so I'm gonna pull up my 